Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjane and Jane. So it's been a while since I've kind of sat down and filmed like a school related video. As you may or may not know, I'm currently on holiday, on a family holiday in Thailand. So this is mine and my brother's room in the villa and there's like a massive window in front of me. So that's kind of where, I'm, where I've decided to film. I'm not really sure it's gonna work. I was gonna film outside, but then someone started like digging in the neighbor's villa and I was like, no, like shush. Uh, so I'm sorry if you can hear some digging, but yeah. So today's video, as you may have guessed, is kind of one of a part of a series that I'm gonna be doing in the next few days um, about my A-level subjects and just kind of how I'm finding them, things I wish I'd known and general advice. So I hope you find this useful. So just in case you didn't know, I do maths, biology, chemistry and English lit and I think I want to study biology at uni. I say I think, although like I'm pretty certain and I've started writing a personal statement so I want to study biology at uni. So A-level chemistry, um, this is kind of the bane of my life, I'm not gonna lie, like there are days where I love chemistry and I find it one of the most satisfying things when you do finally understand it and it clicks, it's like amazing. And I actually surprisingly came out of both of my AS exams for chemistry feeling like, okay, which is probably the first time I've ever come out of a chemistry exam feeling not like I want to cry. So I think my AS exams might have gone like, okay, I'm not sure they were like amazing, but I don't think I've failed. So A-level chemistry, I do AQA, but it's split into physical, organic and inorganic chemistry. Physicals in like both papers, whereas um, inorganic is in one paper with the physical and, and organic is in the other paper with the physical. And I personally find organic so much harder. I don't know what it is, but I am not very good with like spatial awareness and visualizing spatial things. I just, doesn't it doesn't really work very well with my brain. And organic is very much about shapes of things and imagining the 3D shapes of a molecule and I just find it really difficult, so who knows, you could be different. But for me, the organic paper was always kind of harder. And that brings me to my main point about A-level chemistry. It's bloody difficult, okay? Like, I don't know if you wanna take it because you want to be a doctor or if because you just really enjoy it, but basically just make sure you are taking A-level chemistry knowing what you are getting yourself into. Like, if you scraped your grade at GCSE, I do not recommend that you take A-level chemistry. And that sounds harsh. That sounds really mean. Like, sure, you should be allowed to take whatever you like. And normally I would say that with almost any subject, but with chemistry, it's different. Like, just to kind of like put things into perspective, for the first two tests, like two ch kind of chapter tests, which is a term or two, I was the only one in my class of about 23 or 24 that was passing and a pass, a pass being a C. So a few people got Ds, but almost every single person in my class at the start of the year was getting straight U's. And that's scary. I mean, they're not stupid people, they're clever people. And A-level chemistry is just so much harder than you expect. You think that you do, you do well at GCSE and therefore it will just translate. But with chemistry, it's such a massive step up that it just does not work like that. And it's definitely doable, like don't get me wrong, you can 100% do well in chemistry, but I just want you to know that it's really hard and you kind of need to know that you will have to work a lot to maybe even just achieve a C. That brings me on to my next point. You think you get it, and then you do some tests and you realize you really don't get it. <laughs> um, in the lessons, like you sort of, by the end of a lesson, sort of, it kind of clicks for you a little bit. You know, you do your notes, you do your flashcards, and you're like, yeah, okay, I've got a good grasp of this. And then you hit the end of chapter test, and it literally feels like gibberish. I don't even know how the exam, exam people manage to do it but they managed to make this specification stuff into some random test that literally makes like no sense and it's like completely different. And only now, like being at the end of year 12, can I look back and like see, see it more, like see how things fit in. But as I was going across the year, I literally felt like the tests 
was something so foreign from the specification that I'd been learning. Another thing, like time is such an issue in the chemistry exams. You are rushing, you are desperately trying to draw your shapes and stuff and do the maths. And across the year, there were papers that I either didn't finish or very narrowly finished. And I did manage to finish my AS exams, but there was not like ample time to spare. So it's not only really difficult, but you have to be like quick. You can't just sit there like thinking forever. Also, multiple choice is awful. You think, oh my God, yeah, multiple choice. Yes, thank you examiners for being so kind. Easy marks, done. But multiple choice in a -level chemistry is I don't want to say the hardest part, but across the year for me, it was definitely the hardest part because they ask you some sort of question, which sounds like cool, basic, easy. Like I'm sure I can like eliminate stuff in the multiple choice. And then you read the answer list and they're so similar. Like it's almost like they predict the mistake that you're going to make and provide you with that answer so that you can like be like, oh my gosh, it, my answer's there, how cool, yes. Oh my God, I don't even know if I told you this, but in my AS chemistry exam, I had literally a minute or two left of my chemistry paper and I was checking through and then I realized there was a back page. There was a back page, there was a back bloody page of questions, of multiple choice questions and I didn't see it. So I literally had like a minute to just go to the back. I, to this day, I've not read those questions. So I just randomly ticked any sort of thing. Probably have not got those marks. But yeah, just message, message from me is go to the end of the paper, literally to the back. Okay, so my advice is pass papers. I don't care if you're doing the new spec, do some pass papers, do different exam boards, do like any questions that you can. Like I highly recommend the A-level chemistry website. It's just literally like A-level chemistry and you've got the new spec. They have made so many questions on every single topic and they also have note um, sheets, which I printed off every single one and I highlighted all of them. And the good thing about chemistry is there are so many good resources online, um, whether it's E Rintoul on YouTube or other YouTubers who are really good at A-level chemistry, I'm sure you just type some in, or the A-level chemistry website or Chem Revise, all these random resources. They're, they're quite abundant for chemistry, which is good. Another one, second tip. Keep on top of it. Make your flashcards after every lesson. Go to your teacher when you don't understand because there will be things that you do not understand. Let me tell you that now. And um, I kind of had this day each week um, where I always left it free so that I could just go and see my teacher after school if I needed it. And she would just go through the questions. Um, like I highly recommend going through your test papers with a fine toothed comb because I could go from an A in a paper to a D in the next one. And you know, the one that I got a D in, it would have stayed at a D if I had not gone to her and made her go through it with me. Thank you, Miss McCullough, I love you. <laughs> Another more personal tip is I made a poster of common molecular ions and like what they are. Because what a lot of people don't know is that when you hit sort of the end of the year and you need the tests and stuff, you don't get a sheet telling you what the molecular ions are, like their symbols and stuff. So if you can learn them from the start of the year, you will be in a far better position in lessons and in tests. So just like, like write down like plus one ions, write down all of the ones, the typical ones, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, like I don't know, all the random ones, like nitrate ion, nitrite ion, all the like formulas and put them next to the charges. Next one. Write out all your mechanisms. As soon as you hit organic, you need to keep on top of those mechanisms because they are hard and you will get mixed up and you kind of just need them all in one place, like a massive A3 poster where you can just look at all the mechanisms and you can learn them. That probably makes no sense to you right now if you haven't done chemistry, but you will learn what a mechanism is. Another tip, make sure you have a really good grasp of your GCSE chemistry knowledge because if you don't, I, don't know how you're gonna make it. Um, you need to you need to be up on your GCSE knowledge, okay? Um, this summer, I recommend reading Head Start to A-Level Chemistry. It's a CGP book. It's kind of, mm, it's quite, it's not too heavy. It's like hard, but you don't have to learn it. Just kind of read through it. Try and understand a few concepts. Just 
anything you can to make the start of your 12 a bit easier. I was actually here in Thailand last year when I was reading that book and I would sit on the beach with my head start to flipping A-level chemistry book. So yeah, it's definitely doable. <laughs> and at the end of the day, try your best and just, again, just keep on top of it. It is doable, but it is difficult. That's my advice. I hope this helped and I hope it's not too long of a video, that I think we're at 13 minutes, I'll edit a bit, it's fine. Um, anyway, thank you so much guys for watching and good luck with your results, your A-level decisions with your subjects and prep for year 12 because sick form is amazing but it's difficult. Bye.